Hello again. Hello again. Yeah. Welcome so to the today, what do we have? Let me first uh, read out the problem uh, that we have today. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is from a 33-year-old female. So the problem goes: He is Hindu. I am Christian. His parents are okay with this, but not mine. Very stressed about this. So we are assuming that like they're in a relationship, and uh, she has a boyfriend. and the boyfriend is hindu she is christian and they are okay with it but her parents are probably just saying no to the marriage and she is sounding helpless yeah she is sounding helpless so uh, okay what do we have uh okay to begin with i would like to say in general like what to do here like should she marry him or not or should she go against her parents or not so how do you make these decisions So one thing that I would like to say is there is a guiding principle for this which I use for myself and I think which you used to and which we all kind of promote also which is humanism which is individual happiness and individual well-being comes first and like it's a bigger priority over tradition culture rules authority all of those things and this is in these humanistic values as long as you're not directly hurting somebody else as long as you're not interfering with somebody else's freedom you are free to do whatever you want as long as it's in the long run healthy for or in the even in the short run uh, healthy and happy it makes you healthy or happy and it doesn't hurt you either right so individual happiness over what culture says tradition says what other people say what elders say so this is a guiding principle that we use right So from that principle the answer is clear that mm-hmm. yes she So this should. is for the girl you are saying okay. Yeah for the girl yeah So you should look into more about what you should be able to do as an individual as yeah. a human Yeah if it feels right to you Yeah instead of authority or culture or tradition or even religion or uh, your secondary. parents so those everything else is everything is secondary okay. individual happiness and well-being and freedom comes first So this is Uh, the value system this is part of humanism so this mm-hmm. is what i subscribe to and i think it's the best way to really lead your life and allow other people to lead their lives too so from this point of view the answer is okay yes you should go ahead and do it but of course it's not that easy because it's your parents so it's right. not like uh, you can just go ahead and be okay i'm going to be happy do whatever i want and just piss them off and just completely ignore them it's a uh, complex How situation you can't make a new relation and then break uh, the Yeah, yeah. Previous one. Yeah, both you are as near, uh, you know, as powerful and as that support. Both sides. She needs support both sides for her life. Yeah. So she can't just overlook uh, their problems. Yeah, and that's what the confusion is. But yeah, yeah. I told you the grounding principle. So now we can uh, talk about the other angles here. Okay. So briefly, what I would say is first, I would suggest that you kind of understand their point of view. Like hmm. they want you to be happier. and they think that for you uh, the recipe of happiness is that you find somebody of your own community Culture. of your own religion because they think the couples match on that basis because if there is a mismatch there will be unhappiness yeah. but the problem here is they don't understand human nature that well the reality is you need much more match in personality and much more match in uh what do you say human values like relationship values how would that person be in a relationship you want those things those things lead to happiness not uh, just a match in culture in fact within a religion you'll f- or within a community you'll find all kinds of people right very very uh, toxic people very very negative people dominant people and just who you just cannot be in a relationship with and very nice generous respectful fe- people every community has all of those people so from the same community right. one nice respectful all person shades. Can, yeah you get to meet all shades all shades yeah all yeah. shades so in one community you can you can be a nice respectful person and you can then get married to person who's very very negative toxic dominating all of those things so that can happen then you can also find a very nice respectful person from any other community as well so right. what is better for your marriage Uh, and which is, is a better match yeah obviously i mean somebody who's respected who's uh, really open to ideas who's flexible adjusting i mean yeah 
then he could be from any community any community so this yeah. is why they are thinking that i am making a match for their happiness but they are not realizing that what what you really need for a match hmm. is more about a match in personality and interest and deep down a match in larger goals and also uh, a match in just good social values like how do you treat the other person right and this is not what they are looking for they like okay and they think of it as this insurance that if there is from our community Some- somehow there's a match but sadly that's not exactly what leads to a good happy marriages okay so i wanted to yeah point that out but the important point for you is that you understand that they are still looking for your happiness it's just that their frame their way of not approaching with reality yeah. <laughs> uh, the reality is a little bit different i mean they could be genuinely concerned about it and we should respect that yeah okay recognize that if they are concerned about it say that yeah uh, allow that concern listen to that concern yeah yeah you, Don't exactly. ignore don't, it. Yeah. Don't act like that they are against you. Like when yeah. you start taking that on, oh, we like you are like you, you don't understand. Like I don't want to talk like to you. You just don't want to see me happy, or yeah. you're just. Uh, I mean, you're ruining my life. You're trying to ruin my life. When you go in that direction, that's problematic because deep down, they're coming from a deep concern that oh, if it's from somebody, some other community, uh, where might this lead? Like this might fall apart. So it's coming from a real worry and. this has been ingrained and by the way then there is some truth to it as well like sometimes when there's a cultural difference there are a few th- couple of things that it could be hard for her to adjust yeah it's just but they want to case, you know save her from that but in this discomfort. case it's uh, not it's probably not that big of a problem because it's already a love marriage i think like i think they are already in a relationship how, how parents are thinking yeah how parents are thinking yeah and sometimes parents are simply thinking about log kya kahenge what will other people think exactly. so it's it's also about they want to have how will they answer yeah how uh, will they answer the society and by the way that's a very bad reason yeah that's a very very bad reason what because pe- other people they are also living problematic difficult lives and if you if your parents get inspired by that and get pressured by that and then force you then this is just not helpful for anyone and this reason must not be give value to for choosing a partner uh, for choosing a partner you yeah. should not yeah i mean if your parents if you you know your own parents right like if they are coming from that point of view that okay other people might object to it hmm. what will masi say what will mommy say what will uh, dadi say all of those things Th- these are bad reasons just don't pay all that much attention to those by the way uh, Rishav has married someone yeah. from a different culture. Well, it's not a different religion; it's the but same different religion, culture. But uh, it's a different culture. And by the way, that was not an easy decision. Like uh, even our grandparents, at least my uh, grandfather, like yes. he was not supportive of even it. Even her uh, nani. Even her nani was not supportive of it. So he is a North Indian. He's oh, from Ra- he's a Marwadi. He's from Rajasthan. Mm-hmm. And what who he married was is uh, a Malayali. She is from Kerala. Uh, her roots are from Kerala, and yeah, so north meets south. No, meets so south. how's your experience, Rishab? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, see, what I was focusing on from the very uh, start is, is that a fun person? Uh, would I enjoy sitting with them, enjoying uh, conversations? So I put that. I always check that. Like I always kept that as a you know a major factor that on which I have to decide. If I have to marry or not, and I hope she did that too. This worked fine for me because that's all what I was focused on: the person, mm. the individual, their ideas, their beliefs, how strong their beliefs are. So all of that. Mm. And yeah, by the way, I can confirm that this is a success story because I've seen them together, and I'm not saying it because he's my brother and uh, she's my Devarani, <laughs> yeah, uh, brother, uh, yeah. sister-in-law. Yeah, well, he's doing the same as well, uh, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Even my girlfriend, she's Assamese, yeah. and uh, and I'm North Indian. So even we are from different cultures. So our focus on our focus is completely on real human values. Like right. how are we clicking? Like how how much do we enjoy talking to each other? What kind of life are we gonna build? So yeah, I mean, uh, with them it's already because they are married and it's confirmed and they are having a good time and I see that on a day to day basis and that's what really matters. So yeah. Yeah. and uh, her side loves me and my side loves her so yeah that is happening yeah. because we've and come out to he was fortunate in that case yeah. that our parents came from that progressive values that they they focus on the right things but we don't know what he would have done or we would have done if they were uh, completely Opposing against it, it. Yeah. so we can't really say but 
we can only confirm that uh, it's a really good decision and uh, i think gradually your parents will see that too as you really are happy with that person so yeah you are in a real worry of disappointing your parents and that's the main point that uh, we must discuss here which is okay you know that it's your right you know that they are making a mistake and still you take the decision but still you are disappointing your parents you might leave them very very angry right mm. so how do you uh, tackle that so that is the question now for the disappointing part uh starting is just first remember that it's really not up to them and even if they get a bit disappointed ultimately it's okay i know it's it can be a very controversial statement because how oh, how do you disrespect your parents how do you just ignore them for some other guy no no uh, because the, the roots go much deeper uh so deep down you must know that even if they are a little bit disappointed you can still go ahead with it and you probably should also hmm. however you also remember that it's just a sad reality for you it's not going to exactly be easy for you because of certain things because we have seen these things happen and it can happen with you for example they can stay mad with you for a long time for a few months and they'll just be yeah. those disapproving eyes they can actually choose to not show warmth to your new partner for a long time maybe ultimately they learn to okay mm. these things can happen right they might even you know stop talking to you for a while that can also happen yeah that's what i and by the way if something goes wrong with your partner <laughs> just be prepared that they'll say oh told you so yeah. <laughs> so be these things that. so these are the risks that are attached with it and it's just a sad reality like it should not have happened you could have your parents could have been different but it's the reality so don't think that suddenly if you just go ahead with this guy and uh, you'll you'll have it all figured out and everything will be okay so you're saying be ready for the disappointment and be ready for a sarcastic comment from parents yeah yeah these are the risks that are involved and yeah. now the question is are these risks worth it worth it or not so uh, like if you really love the person and if you think that you found a good match then definitely worth it because trust me finding a good match is a very very difficult process and i know for a fact people ultimately they get desperate they don't find anyone and they end up uh, settling with someone who they just don't agree with and who they just don't like because simply uh, the pressure comes so if you have found someone who you click with mm. these risks are definitely worth it so uh, in the long run you'll have multiple opportunities to again make peace with your parents yeah. ultimately they are your parents and they will learn to accept you they will learn to love you again and yes they will cause a lot of issues but in the long run if it's a good partner uh, it's all these risks are worth it i mean when you said that you uh, if you click well so i would say the clicking well is uh, friendship i mean if i yeah multiple factors like, clicking well sometimes it's a I mean, match of uh, friendship i think should be the basis of it it could be friendship it could long-term be long term ideas long term goals yeah long term goals and Uh, maybe sure you click with their friends you like their friends they like your friends and yeah uh, just the way you have fun together your common interests there can be so many things right so if you click well with them if you feel like with among all the other options that i've seen in life mm. this is a good one don't let them go so uh, i know it's a complicated confusing decision but ultimately i just want you to go with uh, this thought that it is your decision and nobody has a right over this right like i like i always say choosing your career and choosing your love choosing your career and choosing your partner these two are two of the biggest decisions of your life mm. and you have complete right over them and it's okay to uh, disagree with your parents and it's okay to uh, ignore their final decision and make your own it's completely okay and i hope you do the same with your own children but just remember while you do this while you do this do not disrespect your parents don't start hating them because again like i told you their background is often coming from their own pressure from other people and their own worry for you right so do this but do this in a respectful and uh, nice manner and yeah uh, hopefully you'll be able to in some years develop a good happy family where everybody starts to love one another and that's my wish for you and with that uh, we close for today yeah uh, and just hope that they come around the decision eventually yeah 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 so and many times they do they actually do. many times they do because they realize 
i mean you we, we can't just abandon our uh, daughter so many times they do and even if they don't like i said if it's your soulmate if it's your love partner if you really love them uh, even if it uh, leaves a little bit of let's say distance in your relationship with your parents for some time i would say uh, go ahead with it because you don't want a life where such big decisions are taken by somebody else and imagine if you leave this person and then you go to somebody else and then you uh, not happy and then yeah you can have a just a disastrous married life and your parents would not be able to save you they would not be able to fix your future marriage with the guy that they choose it's just it just won't happen so not. this is a decision that you have to take you have to make your own life work okay right. so all right uh, with okay. that let's close nice talking to nice you nice talking to you man and uh, thanks for listening and again yeah. like share like subscribe. share subscribe put in comment I'm how did you sure like you this someone, video yeah yeah if you know someone who's going through this please share it with them and yeah if you have any issues uh, in the comment section and in the description of youtube there is a link uh, please fill that and uh, we'll try to address your issues as well and yes if you want a public session with us please mention yes in that form and we'll also try to contact you and we'll set it up videos can give you some good helpful ideas but if your life problems are deeply painful and complex you should go for counseling you can find someone on your own or you can come to us but please get professional help to book appointments with a counselor in our team go to www.shridharlifeschool.com/counsel we offer parent counseling relationship counseling adolescent counseling and of course individual counseling for people struggling with depression anxiety or other life issues if for you getting counseling is difficult for some reason you can buy our audio books they are very helpful too you can also buy audio of this video for repeated listening and as a gesture to support me for audio books go to my website page www.shridharlifeschool.com/audiobooks if you want more peace happiness and mental health do not miss my videos subscribe to both our youtube channels shridhar life school and shridhar life school hindi and make sure to hit the bell icons otherwise you won't get notifications that's how youtube works if you find benefit in my videos or if you're just happy to see me grow you can support me by making a donation to me any amount is welcome please go to www.shridharlifeschool.com/donate thanks for watching